and the weather isn't going to get any warmer as the week goes on. So, so you're staying you, inside. So, yeah, if you need to stay inside, <laughs> like I do, it looks like it's going to be a good day, a good day, and good week to mm -hmm. do so. Right now, we have pretty dry conditions out there across, especially our southern counties this morning, but to the north and even our eastern counties, getting a little bit of light snow on Live Doppler 2X. The most powerful radar in the Miami Valley. You can see more light snow showers off to the north there, up around Fort Wayne and even northwestern Ohio. And all of that activity is going to head down towards the Dayton area as we continue on into the afternoon. We'll take a closer look here at our local region and really not too much activity. Again, just flurries at this time. But as we go into the later afternoon hours, we're going to start to see snow accumulating across the Miami Valley. We'll continue to track it for you with Live Doppler 2X as the day goes on. Currently, it is 15 degrees, another cold start, and now the kids are heading back to school. You're probably heading back to work, so it's going to be definitely a morning where we want to bundle up. Our winds are west at 12, giving us a wind chill of 2 degrees. And these are our road surface temperatures, all locations reporting teens across the area. So yeah, we are frozen and uh, slick spots really not too much of a problem this morning, but heading into this afternoon when we start to see that snow accumulating, that's when we will start to have some issues on the roadways. Satellite radar imagery, lots of clouds in our northern counties, still a little bit of clearing here in the south, but those clouds will continue to increase as the snow works down on us throughout the day today. We are unsettled around the Great Lakes. We have a trough in place here and we've got disturbances swinging around that trough so still the chance of those snow showers even into tonight and through the day tomorrow before Wednesday looks like a quieter day across the region. Hey it's not only cold here it's cold all across the eastern half of the country. Atlanta is 18 degrees so all the way down into the deep south. Oklahoma City 21, Omaha 15 below zero, nine below in Minneapolis. And that blast of Arctic air is actually going to work in on us as we head into the end of the week. We've got another cold blast coming, even colder than we are right now. Future Track has snow showers across the area 9 o'clock this morning, mainly our northern counties by 9 o'clock, but that will spread south as the day goes on. So everyone has the chance of scattered light snow showers even into tonight. And tomorrow we'll see it let up a bit, but we still have about a 30% chance of some snow showers for your Tuesday. Then going into Wednesday, drier conditions will build in as high pressure moves our way. Here's a look at your forecast for this afternoon. Our high up to 23, a 70% chance of snow showers. It's going to be a breezy day, so we will have wind chills. And accumulation and snowfall generally 1 to 2 inches, slightly higher amounts in our northern counties. Overnight, still some light snow showers. A very cold night with lows down to 15. And wind chills near 0 tonight at times, dipping below 0. And then tomorrow afternoon, just a 30% chance of some scattered light snow showers with a high near 22. Wednesday looks to be a quieter day, even though we don't have a huge chance of snow. It's still going to be cold with our high of 23. A bigger storm works in for Thursday and Friday. That could bring more accumulating snow and even colder temperatures. Highs will be only in the teens for Friday and Saturday with lows in the single digits as we head through next week.